All right, here's the question. First, we are going to verify that this right here is the general solution to this differential equation. And the reason that we are saying this is the general solution is because here we have the constant c. And then for the second part, we are going to solve for c given that y of 0 is equal to negative 1. So let's do this part first. Well, we have our first derivative. So let's just go ahead and look at this, differentiate that. So as you can see right here is our y differentiating e, which differentiating c, which is a constant, right? c e to the x, we get c e to the x for the first part. Then differentiating this, we just get negative 3. Differentiating negative 3, we get 0. So this right here is the first derivative. Then we are going to see if this is equal to 3x plus y. Well, what's y? Just look back and then put it down. So here we have c e to the x minus 3x and then minus 3. Well, are they the same or not? Yes, they are, because this right here is 3x, this right here is negative 3x. And of course, we can see that the left-hand side is c e to the x minus 3. Likewise, the right-hand side, isn't it? So it checks. Now, to solve for this, we already know that y is equal to that. And here is the deal. Whenever you have this notation, this means y of 0, that tells us x is equal to 0, and in the meantime, y will be negative 1. So now we just have to do some algebra, put the negative 1 into the y, and then we have the c, which we don't know yet, and the x is 0, so let's just go ahead and plug in. So this is all we have to do. Now let's just work this out. This right here is negative 1. e to the 0 is 1 times c is still c. This is 0 and then minus 3. And of course, we can just add a, two, add a 3 on both sides. So we see c is equal to 2, just like that. So with this, we are done, just like that.